I'm going to show you how to replace the switch assembly on your Streamlight Stinger HL LED flashlight right now. Thanks for tuning in everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the switch assembly on a Streamlight Stinger LED HL flashlight. But first, if you're new here and want to learn how to repair and maintain your vehicles along with other stuff to make your repairs easier, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. Now, I love my Streamlight flashlight. The only downfall is with me using it in the automotive field that I have worn out the power button and it the actual insert is gone. Oh, there it went. It turned on. But anyways, that's gone. And also I've managed to uh, bust the head. So today I'm going to show you how to replace pretty much the guts of this flashlight. Before we get started, make sure to take the battery out. Common sense and it makes it a lot easier. But go and take the battery out of your flashlight. All right, the first thing is going to be the parts list. We'll take that out. This is actually the new head lens assembly. Um, you can buy a new one if you want to. I broke mine, so I'm replacing it. But also, if you're going this far, this is not very expensive. So you can replace this as well. And all this comes in one kit. It's your actual LED board. Pretty much the brains of the flashlight is here. This piece, which goes around the LED. This is the back side that holds this in, plus the actual button that you press. And I'll put both these kit numbers down in the description so if you want to purchase them I will send you right to where you can purchase them. So for tools you're going to need I use snap ring pliers you can use a couple punches or a couple really small screwdrivers that you're calling you'll see why. A Phillips screwdriver and a small pick or a flat blade screwdriver just kind of for holding things into place. So now that you know what parts you need what tools you need I'm gonna do something different on all how-to videos I'm gonna give it a rating system on how difficult it is between one and three, and I'm gonna try wrenches or stars. But I'm gonna give this one a one, it's it's simple. And finally, my question to you is, do you use a Streamlight? I know they're popular, I don't know how many of mechanics use them. I know a few myself, and myself included, use them and love them. But I wanna know from you, do you guys use them? Or have, a, have you guys used them? And if you have, Drop down in the comments, tell me if you like them or don't like them or what you don't like about them or what you love about them. All right, the first thing I want to do is take off the head assembly and it'll actually unscrew. Step number two is to remove the retaining ring that actually holds the LED assembly in and there's two small indents right across from each other. You want to get something either two punch, two screwdrivers, or this is where snap ring pliers come in. Get in those holes and then twist it counterclockwise and that piece will come out. All right, next step is you want to take out these two screws here that go all the way down into the assembly. Just like that. Next, you want to take out the entire assembly. Just like that. Next up, you want to actually pry the old switch out. You can either push it from up here or push it down like that. And once that's out, you'll notice everything is clean in here. It's time to start putting it together. So you'll grab your new switch. And if you look at the back of it, there's one side that's raised and one side that's not, the raised side goes towards the battery pack. So it'll go in just like this, reach in there and shove it up. Then you want to take your new LED bulb assembly and slide it down there with the actual switch facing towards that switch. Wiggle it just like that and you can always just press it and make sure that the switch is actually lined up then you're going to take your white LED retainer big gap will go towards the wire and you have two holes in the LED plus one hole 
down here and if this is off center you can actually move that LED the, it's not really glue I'm not sure what they use but you can actually slide the board so all of this will line up and set flush next step is you want to put the triangle and the screws in and it faces just consider it points towards the battery set it in like that and I usually drop the screws in, get both of them, that way the points will kind of line up the assembly underneath. Then take your screwdriver, and just go down until that one's tight. That one's tight. Next step is to put on this retaining ring. And I'm not using any effort to run this down. As you can tell, because it keeps coming out, because you don't need much. It goes on real easy. Snug it up like that. And finally, the new, assembly, new head assembly screws on. Oop. Like so. Run it so that the O ring is sealed. Just like that. Thanks for stopping by. Again, if you're new here and want to learn how to repair and maintain your vehicle, along with other stuff to make that repair job easier, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell. So, thanks for tuning in, everybody. We'll see you next week.